Okay, let's look at uh, position versus time graph. And these graphs, the position is almost always in the vertical axis and the time is on the horizontal axis. And so basically a graph like this just shows you where some object is. At one second it was at 2 meters, and at 2 seconds it was at a little less than 2, 1.8, at 3, again at 1.8, at 4 seconds it was, etc. Okay, so that's what it tells you. Now the cool thing about one of these graphs is that the slope on these graphs, the rise over the run, right, is actually the velocity. Let me give you an example of that, right? Uh, here's an object sitting still, right? You know it's sitting still because at one second, two seconds, three seconds, etc., it always is in the same position. Well, the slope of that line is zero. It's a flat level line and so the slope is zero. And so therefore, the velocity is zero and the slope is zero. Check out this guy though. Okay, the slope of this one, the rise is two meters, right? And the run is one, two, three, four, five seconds, right? So in calculating the slope, two meters over five seconds, we've actually made the velocity, right? And that's not very fast, right? This one's a little faster, right? On this one here, our slope is, the rise is four meters and the run is just two seconds, right? So that's two meters per second. And then finally, that one, if you look at that, that's a negative slope, right? For that line right there, the rise is uh, negative four meters, and it does it in four seconds. So it's negative one meter per second. Okay, so that's really all there is. I'll do a couple more examples here, but that's kind of all there is to it.